Hello guys, you're here with me Netless and today I'm going to be answering a question that a lot of you have been asking me uh, How to install shaders onto a mod pack uh, Now I've been specifically asked about Tekkit Legends but this actually works for any mod pack uh, So let's just go into what I do differently uh, to get it working uh, So if we have a look here you can see that I'm, I've got shaders enabled and I'm clearly on a mod pack If you have a look at all the various items that I've got here, definitely uh, on a mod pack. So we'll just close this down. So I'm just going to open up where my mod pack is installed. So click mod pack options up here. Uh, it'll be something very similar on whatever launcher you're using, but I'm doing this on the Technic launcher. Click on open. Uh, so this is all the files for this particular mod pack that I was just playing. Uh, so shader packs I'm going to leave there because that doesn't affect it at all. Um, and then what you want to do is go to uh, download shaders. So you download shaders uh, down here, so you'll click on this link. There'll be a link for this page in the description and also a shader pack that you're going to use down here. I use Chocopic shaders, uh, but you can use whatever it is that you want to use. Uh, so let's close that down. Um, so when you've downloaded shaders, you're going to drag it into this uh, folder here. Where is it? Mods. Uh, so you can see it just here, Shaders Mod Core, that is the file that you want to drag in into here. Uh, I'm not going to redo that, you just need to drag it in. Uh, what I'm going to do is delete um, options shaders.txt uh, because that is a file that is generated that we're going to need to tweak to get this working. Uh, so I'll close that, close that. So if I click play, what's going to happen here is probably what happens to all of you when you install uh, Shaders. Okay, so as you can see, it crashed. This is probably why you're watching my video, uh, because this crash is what has uh, brought you here. So what we're gonna have to do is if we go back into where the mod pack is installed. Um, so if we go down to options, shaders, you see how it's regenerated. I deleted this a second ago, but it's regenerated and then it crashed. Uh, the reason it's crashed is because the default settings are not compatible with mod packs. Now what we're gonna need to change here uh, we're going to tweak normal map enabled to false and specular map enabled to false. Oops, got that wrong. False. Okay, file, save, close that, close that. Now, that is the only thing that you need to do differently, but I'm also going to talk you through another, uh, a few other things that you're going to need to do. Uh, so, don't click away just yet. So, we'll click on play. You'll see that the game won't crash this time. Okay, as you can see, the game did not crash this time, but you may notice I have Optifine installed. Uh, now what Optifine does is it just makes things look a bit smoother. So you'll have chunks that start disappearing and things if you try and run shaders without Optifine on a modded uh, Minecraft game. So what you want to do is make sure you download shaders. Now the version I'm running on is 1.7.10, which is Tekkit Legends. Uh, so you just want to download the latest HD Ultra version. That's the one that you want, a HD Ultra. So not, not a standard, not a light, you want a HD Ultra. Uh, and then click on download on that. And you want to also put that in and relaunch the game. And another setting that you want to change uh, is in your graphics. Uh, so it's because this is going to depend on your uh, graphics card. But I use an NVIDIA uh, graphics card. So you want to go to uh, here, you want to go to manage 3D settings. And then you can see I've already got it here. So you want to do uh, what you want to do is click on add, Cl uh, choose this still uh, recently used, choose Java platform SE uh, binary and then what you want to do is go down to threaded optimization and turn that off and vertical sync and turn that off as well. Uh, they're the two settings you want to change in there. It's going to be similar on, on a different kind of um, card that you're using but you want to use, you want to manage the settings and you want to turn off threaded optimization, optimization and vertical sync. Uh, once that's done you shouldn't have any weird things happening so we'll just go into the game now. Uh, so I've already done all of those things. So I've got Optifine installed, I've changed my, my threaded optimization, I've turned off vertical sync. Uh, so the game should load up now. Uh, then you want to, whatever shader pack that you've installed, you want to open up the shader packs folder, drag them in there. You can see I've already got three pre-installed here. So let's load up these to show that they work. Oh, it's a bit dark. Let's turn that to uh, daytime. 
So I need to tweak the settings on this to get it to look right. Uh, let me just make this big screen for you. Uh, okay, so you can see it's a little bit off here. So I'm just going to go to shader options and I'm going to turn these settings up. Now this is going to be graphics card dependent whether your computer can handle doing this. Okay, as you can see, the, my frame rates have dropped. Uh, I will be doing a, an FPS tutorial as well to further improve on this. Uh, but we'll pit, stick another, another shader on for now. Okay, and there we go. So we're playing uh, with shaders on a uh, mod pack. So that was easy enough. Um, I'm going to be making a tutorial on uh, FPS, how to get better FPS when you're playing with shaders. So you can see there I've only got 30 odd FPS, but I can get that up to like 160 FPS easy um, just by tweaking some settings. So we will we'll go into that in, a, in another episode. Um, but if there's any other things you want to know about modded Minecraft, there's, there, there's not much I can't uh, figure out. Uh, so if you've got uh, something you, you're struggling with and you want me to make a tutorial, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get something sorted for you. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.